Hello and welcome along to The Match, the only show anywhere in the world to bring you a full in-depth preview of Real Madrid's next game. This week for Los Blancos, it's a trip to the charming city of Palma, but no time to take in the local sights for the Spanish champions as three points, an absolute must for Jose Mourinho's men on Sunday evening against Real Mallorca. With me to look ahead to that game, as always, is Tim Stannar. Tim, welcome along. Nice to be here. We'll look ahead to the Mallorca match in, in just a moment, but we have to reflect on the midweek disappointment in the Champions League, Real Madrid going down by two goals to one in Borussia Dortmund. Not a great result, but in the context of things, it could have been a lot worse. No, not a great result in the end, and it does continue this curse we spoke about last time, wasn't it, where they've now only won once in 24 games in Germany. However, I think it was actually a very good performance from Real Madrid. It was a very confident one, really pushing for the win. I thought it maybe might even be a cagier affair with Real Madrid winning it 2-1, but in the end, it was a mistake from Pepe that really made things difficult for Real Madrid. They were always playing catch-up. But um, again, they showed that they're, they're, they're not far off breaking this curse, which has been going some 12, 13 seasons now. But probably Dortmund, when it comes to chances and possession um, and just having that little bit extra, did deserve it. But it's still very much a, an open group for Real Madrid. I'm sure they're going to qualify without any problems. Jose Mourinho spoke before the match in the press conference about this curse mm -hmm. in, in Germany. He said it's nothing to do with the psychological uh, problem. It's just that we're playing against very good opposition. Well, I think that's what it was. Well, this is it. If you get the best teams in Germany, in Germany, especially when you get a fantastic stadium and atmosphere like you do get uh, in Dortmund or in Bayern Munich, for example, then it's going to be very, very difficult. What Jose Mourinho has been doing since the start of the season, really, is um, just trying to lower expectations from what happened in the, the Champions League last season. If you remember, Real Madrid had a fantastic performance. It was 100% record, 18 points. Obviously, it's extremely hard to repeat that. And what Jose Mourinho has been doing is saying, we're not going to do that. We are going to drop points here and there. And that's what happened. Uh, as you can see, there's a signal at Iduna Park. So, no, by no means a surprise, no means a disaster. But for me, there are positives to be taken from it. It's just a very good performance. And also, let's just put this into context. Probably of all the away matches mm -hmm. that Real Madrid are going to play this season, this is one of the toughest. This is going to be you know, the toughest. Obviously, they've got the Ajax one out of the way. Going to the Etihad is going to be very interesting indeed. It's... Um, Manchester City, let's just say, in a bit of a crisis, especially in Europe, so I'm really looking forward to that game. But that game may not matter too much. Of course, the next one is at home against Borussia Dortmund. I think they'll pick up three points there. They've also got the last match of the uh, Champions League group stages, which is Ajax at home. Again, a home win. In between that is the Manchester City game, which is going to be very, very entertaining. It certainly is. Well, let's get the thoughts of the manager, Jose Mourinho, who spoke after the defeat in Dortmund. A very hard group. And... Uh... In this moment, with this result, there is still a gap between us and, and the other two. So when you go seven and six, and there is a gap for three and one, um, in this moment, we and Borussia, we are in a better situation to, to go. But why can't City make 10 points? Nine plus one, they can make ten points. So I think us and Borussia, we have to think about do eleven. Jose Mourinho speaking after the game in Dortmund. I guess the result with Manchester City losing in Ajax has made uh, the group uh, very interesting. In fact, we can have a look at how the group is uh, shaping up Champions League Group D. Real Madrid have dropped to second place, but they've still got to play Borussia Dortmund at home. <laughs> That's their next game. And actually, they're still looking in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm expecting Real Madrid to pick up Actually, three wins in the next games. I think they're going to beat Manchester City in a head. I think they're going to be going from crisis to crisis because of that really disastrous result in Ajax. We saw in Amsterdam, rather. We saw that Ajax are not the strongest. All due respect to them with their Real Madrid performance. So, for Manchester City to um, collapse like that, and it all started perhaps their bad campaign at the Santiago Bernabeu, and of course they were winning with three minutes to go, and Real Madrid beat them. So it seems to have been a, a massive psychological blow for them. Uh, things not looking too good for uh, Manchester City at the bottom of the table. But uh, as we said, things fairly healthy for Real Madrid in second place uh, with uh, six points. Just to reflect a little bit on one of the injury fallouts from that game in Dortmund. Sami Khedira is going to be out for two to three weeks. He picked mm -hmm. up a bit of a muscle problem. Uh, we've also got uh, three left-backs out. Um, so Real Madrid in a little bit of uh, problems <laughs> with injury, shall we we're say. We're back with a discussion on the left-back uh, left situation. 
situation because I, th I don't know in Mallorca, we'll see in a minute what I've gone for with the starting 11. I don't think he's going to start, he is positive perhaps to start with Xabi Alonso and Modric in the middle. Of course, it was Modric who came on for Sami Khedira in that Borussia Dortmund game. I mean, so, it's not a like for like change, is it, with Modric coming no, on? No, I mean, not, I mean, they're running out of options basically and at left back and central midfield. So there's going to be another reshuffle. So Jose Mourinho has actually said he, he's looking at the Cantera players for the right game and potentially I think the Mallorca game might be the time for someone to come in from the Castilla side. But no. Um, there are going to be some changes perhaps we've got maybe Will Urza will be arrested will Di Maria play again I thought Urza did very well during the week so the Sami Khedira thing yeah out two or three weeks but we did see Quen Trao and Arbeloa during the week um, running again so they should be back in fact there they are fairly soon as well so that's going to help a little bit but they're going to be stretched for the weekend and there's a cup game coming up following week but I don't think that's going to affect them too much and a home game against Zaragoza at the Bernabeu in a week's time so the timing's not too bad. It's three fairly comfortable games. Yeah, winnable fixtures. Let's take a look at who Tim thinks is going to start for Real Madrid then on Sunday evening against Real Mallorca in Palma. And you've gone for Nacho at left back. Yeah, I think now is the time. I think it was a hint from Jose Mourinho that he hasn't discarded the idea of the Castilla player, but he's wanted to put SEN there in preparation for the Dortmund game, I think, more than anything else, to give him a little bit of practice. But there's no reason why Nacho can't um, play up against uh, opposition, good opposition against like Mallorca. I think he'd be fine for that one. SEN to take over the role of Sami Khedira who's going to be very vital there. My one doubt is over Di Maria. I'm now thinking that potentially this is a game for Kaya Hon to start and Higuain to um, move back into the striking position for this match with Benzema starting in the Champions League. I think we're almost going to see them alternating in these particular competitions. Yeah, you've got Michael Essien there in the holding midfield role. Probably what he thought he was going to be playing uh, more he, when he, he came he, to Real Madrid. I think at the moment left he's back. now doesn't... He, obviously, I remember the game against um, Manchester City was playing quite advanced. So I think yeah. he's now thinking, you know what, this is a whole new world, I'll play anywhere. All right, quick word about uh, Real Mallorca as well, who are Madrid's opponents on Sunday evening. Now, they started the season really well, but they've yeah. lost their last three games. Yes, and this is why it's going to be quite dangerous for Real Madrid. Joaquin Capados is a very experienced manager. He's a manager who works with very limited resources and gets the best out of them. He gets them playing as a team and he gets them very, very defensively organised. And as you said, they started very strongly and they were near the top of the table. Tom Hemed is the main striker and I spoke to him a couple of weeks ago and he says that Caparos comes in with such enthusiasm that it really does um, get over to the players. So they've lost their last three though, they're a little bit unlucky against Sevilla, therefore it's difficult to see them losing four in a row. So this might look like an ordinary away fixture for Real Madrid, but I think there's some danger in this one. I think Mallorca can make life difficult for them. Well, it is always a tough place to go, isn't it? I mean, Real yeah, Madrid it, don't necessarily have the best record there. No, it's not a case of like being a particularly, what's the word, scary stadium. They no. find it very hard to actually get fans to go to that game. It's really a complaint of Manzano, who did coach there uh, a couple of managers ago, saying, well, 12 o'clock's no good, it's lunch or in the morning. They're all Se having 7 o'clock, they're having paella and etc. etc. So this one's at 9.30 on a Sunday night so it's going to be hard to be a sellout but Joaquin Capados is one of my um, favorite managers and he's a it's one of the the key reasons why Spain are doing so well for example um, with, their, with their current players because he's great at bringing up youth players people like Sergio Ramos and Reyes and he's behind the Athletic Bilbao revival so he's someone who knows how to set up Mallorca to get a result against Real Madrid so and Jose Mourinho will know this as well Certainly will, not necessarily a straightforward fixture then for Real Madrid on Sunday evening. Let's take a look at all the games in the Spanish top flight this weekend and get Tim's predictions. So Espanyol against Malaga kicks off the weekend. Well, well done to Malaga, nine points from nine in the Champions League. So I think this one's going to be a draw. Uh, Valencia travel to Seville to take on Real Betis. Well done Valencia as well, hat-trick for Soldado during the week. Another draw. It's the Galician derby up in Vigo with uh, Deportivo making the short trip. Therefore, not in good form at the moment. I think it's a home win for Celta. Uh, in the district of Vallecas here in the Spanish capital, Saturday night, Rayo against Barcelona. I'm going to this one. As much as I really like Rayo, they are not good this season. Barcelona to beat them. Uh, Sevilla travelling to Zaragoza. I think that could be a sneaky home win. I think Zaragoza not as bad as the league table says. Levante also had an excellent win in <sighs> midweek in the Europa League. They're hosting Granada. Uh, a 1-0 win against Granada. Uh, Athletics hosting Getafe. It gets worse and worse for them. They lost midweek in the Europa League, lost, the, uh, lost last week against Valencia. They got Getafe, which is a bit of a soft touch, so a home win. Uh, Atletico Madrid can't stop winning at the moment. They host Osasuna. Bottom of the table, Osasuna. Home win for Atletico Madrid. The big one for us, Real Madrid, travelling to the island of Mallorca. 
This one, I think, might be a draw for Real Madrid 1-1, but I wouldn't be surprised if Madrid nick it. We're going to go for the draw. And the Monday night game is Real Sociedad travelling to Valladolid. The big one of the week on Monday night. <laughs> a home win for Valladolid. Not that anyone's going to see it. Almost right. Well, there are Tim's predictions for this weekend. Tim has gone for a draw in the Sunday night game between Mallorca and Real Madrid. Fingers crossed he's wrong. Fingers crossed for three points for Los Blancos. That's all we've got time for. From Tim and myself, it's adios.